Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently I just watched The Other Side of Heaven, which is about a young Mormon minister named <coughs> John Groberg. And he was only 19 when he was sent to, to Tonga. <laughs> and um, it's really quite uh, an interesting coming of the yeah, coming of age story um, and it talks about faith and it's really a beautiful film it uh, is about um, a young man who is taken from Idaho Falls Idaho basically from everything he knows and throws him into a situation that he's completely um, alien in. He is a stranger and a sojourner. <laughs> he's in Tonga. He doesn't even speak the he doesn't even speak the language when he's there. But uh he through determination and perseverance he teaches himself the language and then he's able to converse with them freely freely and it's really quite remarkable the the things that you witness when you see this movie. Um it's very heartwarming and, and enlightening and <laughs> uplifting and it gave me more of a sense of uh, hope for the human race just because if you see people like uh, John here uh, going into unknown lands and he even stays faithful to his uh, girlfriend or his fiance I should say um, his his fiance is back at home in, in <clears throat> Idaho and uh, even though one of the native girls is offered to him freely and they want him to produce a, a white girl I mean a, they want him to produce a, a white baby for them this is their act of kindness they, they don't understand it any other way they just think there would be more privilege coming from his background and etc um, and he says I can't do this and of course the mother says well why can't you is it because of the color of our skin he says no it's not because of that I find your skin very attractive but I just I have let me show you a picture of true love and he shows the the mother a picture of his girlfriend who's our fiance who's who's played by Anne Hathaway and Anne does a, a really wonderful job playing the role of John's wife and interestingly enough this is based on a true story and the the missionary work actually happened around the latter part of the 70s 1979 give or take um, there were a lot of dangers that were fraught in his he, his, da his, mi his missionary journey was fraught with danger uh, he was <laughs> it, it was never a time that there wasn't any danger and of course there was another priest involved that said oh we don't appreciate your doctrine here blah 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 and they um, they were more focused on the traditional ways and they were very fundamentalistic and closed minded and he um, he turns the situation around for his benefit and, and for the benefit of others and it just shows how John grows as a person how he becomes uh, very altruistic and uh, compassionate and just how golden of a heart he possesses and just how wonderful he is and um, he's humble he's humble and it shows that and I just think that there is so much that can be learned from this particular film that a lot of people can take away from it and uh, Tonga itself and the, the Pacific Islands are really quite lovely and seeing that as this is Asian Heritage Month I, I couldn't help myself but I didn't even realize that this was about the Pacific Islands until I popped it in the DVD player and dad and I watched it and I thought oh Tonga is part of the Pacific Islands how appropriate um, so you could watch this as a celebration of Asian Heritage Month and it would be absolutely appropriate and I just thought hey that's 
such a coinkadink, but no such thing as coinkadinks. It um, everything has a purpose. We may not understand why things happen or bad things happening to good people. There are a lot. There's a lot of that in this movie. It's they don't sugarcoat things, which I really like, and it shows how um, <coughs> challenging um, missionary work truly is, and it it really is just a, a fantastic film and it's absolutely beautiful and uh, I'm not sure when it was made because I looked at the the back of the dust jacket and it doesn't really tell me much of anything it just tells me about um, what the movie's about and <laughs> I really don't want to share that with you right now because like I said it, it's going to give away a lot of spoilers I don't want to do that if you're going to watch it I highly recommend you do I, I give it two thumbs up five stars hands down it, it's really quite an inspirational film that will leave you feeling good and just leaving you loving humanity for all it's worth because I think there are lots of good messages in this film about interconnectivity and how we're basically all so sisters and brothers and um, this is what our family should should uh, this is how our family should work out um, this is how our family life should be run um, unfortunately there are times where we have fights and we bicker and but that's just part of being human we have faults and foibles so it's um, that's what is part of being mortal <laughs> I think 